In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college basketball games happening on March 11, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college basketball Ball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Santa Clara vs. St. Mary's In an eagerly anticipated matchup within the West Coast Conference Tournament semifinals, the top-seeded and 23rd-ranked St. Mary's Gales, holding a commendable 24-7 overall record and an impressive 15-1 West Coast Conference record, are set to clash with the fourth-seeded Santa Clara Broncos, who come into the game with a solid 20-12 overall record and a respectable 10-6 conference standing. St. Mary's is seeking to bounce back from an unusual defeat against Gonzaga, which halted their remarkable 16-game winning streak, while Santa Clara enters the contest with the momentum of a commanding 104-79 triumph over San Diego in the quarterfinals. The stage is thus set for a thrilling encounter, where both teams, boasting notable conference achievements, will vie for a coveted spot in the final, making this showdown a memorable highlight of the season. St. Mary's Gales command attention with their towering achievements, holding a remarkable 24-7 overall record and an imposing 15-1 record in the West Coast Conference. These statistics underscore the team's dominance in the highly competitive conference, showcasing their proficiency on both ends of the court. Their stellar performance serves as a testament to a well-coordinated machine, where offensive and defensive strategies seamlessly blend to outshine opponents. The Gales' offensive prowess, averaging 74 points per game, reflects a harmonious combination of efficiency and strategic play. Notably, their field goal percentage of 46.7 and three-point percentage of 35.3 highlight a team comfortable with their shooting capabilities, albeit with room for improvement in free throw accuracy at 68.2%. The Gales also shine in rebounding, securing an impressive 39.7 boards per game, showcasing their ability to control the glass on both offensive and defensive fronts. On the defensive end, St. Mary's emerges as a formidable fortress, allowing a mere 58 and a half points per game and ranking second nationally in defensive stinginess. Opponents face a daunting challenge, struggling to find a rhythm with field goal and three-point shooting percentages of 39.1% and 31.3%, respectively, against the Gales. Despite facing setbacks, including injuries to key players like Harry Wessels and Joshua Jefferson, the team's leaders, including Aiden Mahaney, Augustus Marciulianis, and Mitchell Saxon, continue to guide the Gales with remarkable skill and determination. The semi-final clash against Santa Clara presents an opportunity for St. Mary's to showcase their resilience and prowess in pursuit of a spot in the championship game. The Santa Clara Broncos, carrying a commendable 20-12 overall record and a solid 10-6 conference mark, present a formidable challenge in the West Coast Conference. Their journey to the semifinals reflects a strategic blend of offensive prowess and resilient defense. Offensively, the Broncos boast an average of 76 points per game, showcasing a collective effort with shooting percentages of 45.8% from the field and 35.4% from beyond the arc a free throw accuracy of 70.5% and an average of 39.6 rebounds per game highlight their comprehensive preparation and execution. Defensively, Santa Clara demonstrates the ability to tighten their defense, conceding an average of 72 points per game. Their opponents struggle with shooting percentages of 42.1% from the field and 31.2% from three-point territory, showcasing the Broncos' defensive prowess and competitiveness on the boards. Positioned fourth in the West Coast standings, the Broncos' leadership on the floor has been instrumental, with key players like Adama Bell, Johnny O'Neill, and Francisco Caffero contributing significantly to the team's balanced attack. Notably, entering the semifinal in full health provides Santa Clara with a significant advantage, allowing them to unleash their full potential against the Gales and setting the stage for a clash characterized by strategic intensity. As both teams bring their best to the fore, the semifinal promises to be a closely contested battle, with each side vying for a coveted spot in the championship final. The St. Mary's Gales have a history of success in tournament play, securing victories over Santa Clara twice this season and boasting a five-game winning streak against them. Despite 
the Gale's dominance, this particular Santa Clara team stands out as one of the strongest in recent memory, displaying commendable defensive capabilities that make them a formidable opponent in March. While the Gales dominated the Broncos in the paint and on the boards in their previous encounters, the question arises whether betters should anticipate a closer outcome in the upcoming semifinal clash. Forecasts suggest that St. Mary's may not outlast Santa Clara by double digits in the upcoming matchup. The Broncos demonstrated resilience in the second meeting between the teams, holding their own inside and making the game competitive with an impressive 55-point second half performance. Confidence in Santa Clara's ability to keep the game competitive throughout stems from their proven capacity to hold their own in rebounding, as evidenced by a plus-one rebounding margin on January 31st and an efficient 42.1% shooting from beyond the arc in their recent matchup. With a commendable 18-11-2 against the spread record for the season, the Broncos have consistently pleased betters, making them a compelling choice to cover the spread as underdogs in the upcoming semifinal clash. The anticipated clash between St. Mary's and Santa Clara promises to be a defensive showcase, with the Gales allowing only 58.5 points per game and boasting a nationally unrivaled defense. The contest is poised to highlight the defensive strengths of both teams, emphasizing a strategic gameplay approach. Additionally, the adjusted tempo from Ken Palm for St. Mary's, standing at 62.4 and ranking 358, indicates a preference for a slower, more deliberate style of play. While Santa Clara maintains a higher tempo at 69.4, the formidable defense of the Gales is likely to impede their speed. St. Mary's deliberate style is reflected in their status as one of the slowest tempo teams nationally, averaging 62.3 possessions per 40 minutes, contributing to a potential low-scoring affair. The Gales' defensive prowess extends to limiting second-chance scoring opportunities, ranking first in the nation in opponent offensive rebounds. Their excellence in defending at the rim and beyond the arc further solidifies their reputation as one of the top defensive teams. While the Broncos are expected to defend effectively, especially on the perimeter with a 48th rank in opponent 3PT%, the Gales' dominance in the paint may pose a challenge. The outcome of the game hinges on the Broncos' ability to contain the Gales' three-point shooting while maintaining competitiveness on the boards. Considering the defensive strength of St. Mary's and the strategic nature of conference semifinals, the projected total suggests that the game will likely be low scoring, making under the projected total our full game total pick. San Francisco vs. Gonzaga In a highly anticipated showdown in the West Coast Conference Tournament semifinal, the number 2 Gonzaga Bulldogs are set to clash with the number 3 San Francisco Dons. Gonzaga, fresh off a significant triumph against St. Mary's, aims to extend their victorious streak, while San Francisco enters the matchup following a dominating performance against Portland. With both teams eyeing a coveted spot in the final, this contest promises to be a must-watch for basketball enthusiasts. The Gonzaga Bulldogs, boasting an impressive overall record of 24-6 and a commanding 14-2 in conference play, enter the West Coast Conference Tournament semifinal with undeniable momentum and a singular objective, clinching the championship. Coming off a resounding victory over St. Mary's, the Bulldogs have solidified their standing as a top contender in the tournament. Their offensive prowess is a spectacle of efficiency and firepower, averaging an impressive 86 points per game. This is underlined by their remarkable 51.9% success rate from the field, ranking them second nationwide. The Bulldogs excel beyond the arc as well, boasting a respectable 35.0% from three-point range. Dominating the boards, they aggressively claim an average of 39.6 rebounds per game, showcasing their dominance on both ends of the court. Defensively, Gonzaga remains relentless, holding opponents to an average of 69 points per game on a frugal 40.2% shooting. Their perimeter defense is equally noteworthy, limiting teams to a 33.1% success rate from deep. In the conference standings, their efforts have earned them the second spot, just behind St. Mary's. Leadership on the court is exemplified by Graham Ike, whose scoring, rebounding, and shooting efficiency have been invaluable. Ryan Nimbard's playmaking abilities and the defensive prowess of Anton Watson and Graham Ike further solidify the Bulldogs' formidable lineup. Gonzaga enters the semifinal with a clean bill of health 
fully armed to continue their march towards the championship. The San Francisco Dons, entering the fray with a commendable 23-9 overall record and an 11-5 conference record, are poised to challenge the Bulldogs in the West Coast Conference Tournament semifinal. Their impressive 72-51 win over the Portland Pilots in the quarterfinals propelled them into this spot. The Dons' offensive strategy yields an impressive 78.1 points per game, fueled by a high-caliber shooting efficiency of 48.9% from the field, placing them among the elite in the nation. Their prowess extends to the three-point line, matching Gonzaga with a 35.0% completion rate, and at the charity stripe, where they excel with a 75.6 free throw percentage. The Dons' rebounding efforts, averaging 34 per game, though not as dominant as Gonzaga's, still play a crucial role in their game plan. On the defensive end, the Dons have proven themselves formidable, conceding only 66 points per game to opponents and holding them to a 43% shooting from the field. Their three-point defense is slightly more effective than Gonzaga's, with opponents hitting 32.4% from beyond the arc. In the conference standings, their hard work has earned them the third spot, showcasing their competitiveness in a tough West Coast conference. Jonathan Mogbo serves as the linchpin of the Don strategy, leading in points, rebounds, and blocks, with Volodymyr Markovsky providing an astonishing shooting accuracy. Marcus Williams orchestrates the play, contributing significantly to their balanced and formidable approach. The Dons also head into this pivotal match without any injuries, setting the stage for a high-octane confrontation with the Bulldogs as they seek to disrupt the hierarchy and carve their path to the final. The Gonzaga Bulldogs stand out with their unparalleled offensive efficiency and defensive resilience, making them the clear favorites in this West Coast Conference Tournament semifinal. Their impressive season record of 24-6, including a 14-2 mark in conference play, attest to their dominance. The Bulldogs' offensive prowess, averaging 86 points per game with a remarkable 51.9% shooting from the field, coupled with a staunch defense limiting opponents to 690 points on 40.2% shooting, positions them as a formidable force. Leadership from players like Graham Ike, boasting a 62 field goal percentage alongside his 17 points and 7.3 rebounds per game, underscores Gonzaga's capability to excel under pressure. The Bulldogs' recent performances, especially the triumph over St. Mary's, further highlight their readiness for high-stake games. As San Francisco seeks redemption, they face a formidable challenge against a Gonzaga team that has proven its mettle throughout the season. Season. Will the third time be the charm for San Francisco? The Dons, with Cinderella qualities, find themselves in a challenging position, particularly considering their 0-4 combined record against West Coast Conference powerhouses Gonzaga and St. Mary's. While leading scorer Jonathan Mogbo remains a consistent force, other players have struggled to play up to their potential in matchups against these formidable opponents. The Dons showcase their best form when their guards find a rhythm, creating mismatches for Mogbo as they space the floor. However, their attempt nearly 40% of which come from beyond the arc, have proven challenging against the defensive prowess of the Bulldogs and Gales. Gonzaga, among the top teams nationally in opponent two-point shooting percentage, forces the Dons into off-rhythm shots, presenting a formidable challenge for San Francisco. As they enter this crucial semifinal, the Dons will be looking to break the pattern and secure a statement victory that could reshape their narrative in the tournament. Expectations are not likely to shift in tomorrow's semifinal game, as the well-rested Bulldogs remain steadfast in their identity. While San Francisco is undoubtedly a captivating team at their best, the odds of enthusiastic cheering from the Don's sideline tomorrow night may be limited. Inzaga rolls into this game on a high note, having won 13 of their last 14 games, while San Francisco has faced challenges with three losses in their last four outings. Despite a reasonably successful regular season for the Dons, four of their five conference losses came against formidable opponents in Gonzaga and St. Mary's. The Bulldogs secured victories in the first two meetings by scores of 77-72 and 86-68, showcasing their offensive prowess. As Gonzaga enters this semifinal clash with confidence and momentum, the Dons face an uphill battle to disrupt the groove of a team that has found its rhythm and is determined to march forward in pursuit of championship glory. Given these factors, Gonzaga's blend of high-scoring offense, disciplined defense, and a proven track record in clutch moments confidently anchors them as the team poised to advance. Consequently, the Gonzaga Bulldogs to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick.
The Bulldogs are expected to make a resounding statement on the defensive end, strategically preventing the Don's guards from effectively spacing the floor. San Francisco will likely encounter difficulties in scoring from beyond the arc and may struggle inside the paint against the Bulldogs' formidable defense, which ranks 11th in opponent two-point percentage. Gonzaga, currently standing 39th nationally in adjusted defensive efficiency, demonstrates their defensive prowess by effectively countering opponents' offensive strategies. The Dons are expected to put Put up a competitive fight, keeping the game close initially, but the Zags are anticipated to eventually pull away and cover the spread. Gonzaga's defensive efficiency ranked 33rd nationally, and their prowess on the glass, standing ninth in opponent total rebounds per game, further strengthen their position. The Bulldogs guards, known for their ability to disrupt opponents with 25th ranking in steals, are poised to play a crucial role in securing a defensive advantage. Additionally, their opponent's shooting percentage from beyond the arc is anticipated to remain under 33% further contributing to Gonzaga's defensive dominance. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.